Now that we've reviewed velocity in the previous video on kinematics of particles, I'll link it here in case you want to check that out, we can start to talk about the final piece in our curvilinear kinematics discussion, which is particle acceleration. So we have in our drawing here two particles at two different velocities at two different times. So we're going to define acceleration as the change in velocity over the change in time. So we have our velocity at t plus delta t minus the velocity at t divided by delta t. So we're going to write that as And this is what's going to give you our average acceleration. So we can write average because it's occurring at a finite time. And we can simplify that even further by writing delta V over delta T. And acceleration is always going to give you an answer in units like meters per second squared, it's always going to be a length over time squared. So if we take the limit as t approaches zero, like we did for velocity in our last video, oops, we're going to write limit as t approaches zero of our average acceleration. This is what's going to give us what's called our instantaneous acceleration, which is the, just the derivative of velocity with respect to time. So this is going to be our instantaneous acceleration. And again, like velocity, when a problem asks for acceleration, it's most likely referring to your instantaneous acceleration unless they specifically are asking for the average acceleration. So again, like velocity, we learned that on a curved path, your velocity is always going to be tangent to the path of motion. So you would look like this. But our acceleration, we can say that our acceleration is always going to be going towards the concave side of the path. So that would look like this. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps support my channel and helps me continue making videos for you guys. I'll see you next time.